Jeanette here from Enthusiastic Gardener. Now it's such a cold, icy cold day today and it would be so easy to stay indoors. But tomorrow is forecast rain all day and I only get two days at the weekend. So I thought, nope, let's come out now for one hour, see what I can do because I just want to get rid of the summer bedding in my old planters and that's time for that to go well past it and I've got some beautiful plants to put in their place. So I'm braving the cold, getting out for one hour and I know that I'll be so pleased that I did. So these are the ones which are going. The summer petunias, they're still going strong, but it's autumn and uh, you may have noticed I've had a autumn haircut which has made me freezing cold because it's so short now and I've had some autumn colours, some red and copper. Not sure if I like it or not yet. But anyway, it's done. So let's take these out and I will show you what I've got to go in their place, which are beautiful. They're absolutely gorgeous. And I've got 18 plants here. So I've got my lovely new pop-up bag, which my old pop-up bag was far too big and I broke it. This one is ideal. I didn't need a great big one like that. This size is perfect. I've held on to them as long as possible and it really is time for them to go. It's nice to see them gone now. Oh, we've got a snail. It can go as well. I think what I'll do, I'll get a bucket and I'm going to take off the top layer of this and I'm going to put some new soil in, but autumn plants aren't going to grow vigorously like spring plants and summer plants would so I'm just going to give it a little bit of uh, new soil but I'm not going to fill up the whole bed it's so cold today so cold and I'll just scatter this soil around the garden it's nice to get it all nice and clean and tidy again I'm not going to put fertiliser or anything in with these heathers because it's not that time of year. And the thing I like about heathers is that they just last all winter long, right round until spring when you start planting things again. Aren't they absolutely gorgeous? They're all different colours. Let's show you one of them. There's pinks, dark pinks, light pinks and sort of creamy whites. So I thought, let's see how many I need. I think, will three do it? Three, yes, I think, or shall I have four? Four would look amazing, wouldn't it? Four, four will look fantastic. I bet there's quite a few actually. All us die-hard gardeners. But as I say, it's raining tomorrow and then I won't be able to do anything. And then I'll think that's a whole weekend. I couldn't, couldn't do anything. Oh, it's quite root bound. I'm not expecting these to grow a lot. If at all, they can stay exactly like this. But I do want them to be happy, so I'm just going to cut the 
see what that does anyway. The other day, I was out here without a coat on, and now it's freezing cold. That looks beautiful. I think that looks very nice and autumnal. I think I'll speed up the camera whew, for the next one. raining so I'm going to leave it here for the moment pray for a bit of dry weather tomorrow morning which it will be Sunday and hopefully get the rest of these in fingers crossed I'll be able to come out tomorrow morning and finish off hello everyone well I did manage to get out here this morning and I have finished planting the heathers if you can see they look very beautiful and we did have hostas here, but we've decided to remove the hostas and put the heathers in instead. And the hostas will be moved somewhere else. And then over in this bed, I have put some beautiful white cyclamen. This was the obelisk, which had the sweet peas in, which did not last very long, but beautiful obelisk which I was from Tom Chambers and then along over here we have another Tom Chambers planter and here I have put some Jerusalem cherry I'm not quite sure how this will fare over the winter I may have to move this in when it gets very cold Then over in this bed, where we had a gap, I have put some physalis, which is otherwise known as Chinese lantern, and these are beautiful papery little lanterns. From the planter we had a geranium in there which was still looking so lovely so I've put it just in this bed just for the rest of the season while it's still looking nice lots of people plant their fall planters full of like corn stalks and all different mums everything like that but this year I felt like just being simple very simple this year I do have some pots out the front and I'm hoping that it will be warm enough one day when I get home from work next week so I could quickly do those. I've got something planned for those. But I have to dash now because I am being taken for lunch at the golf club. We're very posh, you know, in Essex. And Richard is showing me the place where he spends most of his time and where he prefers to be whenever possible. So I am allowed to go there just for a lunch. And so I'm looking forward to that. I wish you all a very pleasant rest of the day and I will see you again very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.